hello guys and welcome once again to savannah essence today we are making an african black soap shampoo for african black soaps we have two we have the powdered one uh, this is the normal powdered african black soap that we currently have in the market and then we also have the bar one or the solid one for this shampoo we will be using the bar one just so that um, we can use this to make the shampoo because this is what is popular in the market and it's really available any of it is fine you can use any of it but uh, i want to use the bar one because i think that's what you can easily find in the market so that those who have access to that you can use but those of you also have access to the powder it's the same procedure so you just also dissolve it in water and continue so i am going to cut my black soap into smaller pieces because i'm going to melt it down i'm going to dissolve it in water and so it's usually better to cut it in smaller pieces to help with the melting process so that it's a faster uh, journey so this is an african black soap it is good for especially those of us with kinky coily hair um, i'm making a clarifying shampoo and so it's going to be a lot milder than just applying the african black soap directly onto your hair this recipe is going to come in three different phases so what we are currently doing is our phase a where we are basically just melting our african black soap or dissolving our african black soap in water to do the i think this is around 150 grams that i'm going to use the recipe for this will be in the description box i'm going to give you a standard one now i'm going to add in some warm water or boiling water so i prefer to use boiling water because i need my my soap to dissolve fast for me so that's my water that i've also just added into the black soap so that is what is going to help the black soap to melt or this is what is going to help dissolve my black soap again this is the recipe will be in the description box and the recipe is going to be a standard one so it means that i'm going to give you a basic blueprint on how to go about it and then you can tweak it in whichever way you want you can add more water to increase it or you can add you know more gum to make it thicker depending on how you want it now for those of us who are conversant with uh, making who have been making diys ourselves you could just melt this at this point and then pour it into your container and use it to wash your hair at least maybe once a month or twice a month as a clarifying as a, as a shampoo a cleansing shampoo so our black soap is well melted everything has been dissolved beautifully the next thing i want to do is that i want to sieve it sometimes the way our black soaps are made because they are made with cocoa pod and ashes sometimes there are some impurities in it uh, and so you would want to sort of <coughs> sieve it to take out all the impurities fortunately for me this brand of bar soap uh, there were no impurities so as you can see it is nice and beautiful it's light it's not thick so you can leave it at like this like i was mentioning add some oils if you want it to be a little bit moisturizer uh, we'll have a conversation about whether oils does that but you can add oils if you want but i want to make this thicker so i want to make it like a store-bought shampoo so i'm now in my phase b for phase b i am going to use a thickener or a gum to make my black soap thick so i am using zaintan gum you can use use hec you can use gua gum you can use <coughs> i was going to say kaboma but i don't know you can use whatever um gums that are readily available to you um i have <coughs> sorry i have just zaintan gum at hand so that's what i'm going to be using and it's always good to dissolve your zaintan gum in a glycerin and for this like i said it's a clarifying shampoo so i'm going to be using glycerin which is a humectant which i'm hoping will help draw moisture into my hair so my hair is not always dry because shampoo can be uh, 
black soap can be very drying and stripping to your hair so you want to incorporate some things to it to make it more easy and gentle for your hair so this is our zaintan gum that we have dissolved beautifully in our glycerin if you are dissolving zaintan gum in water be careful because it will be lumpy and so that's why we prefer to dissolve it in glycerin but you can dissolve yours in water as well if you don't have glycerin or any other humectant so for zaintan gum usually it takes quite a bit before the thickness starts and sometimes so you need agitation before your your black soap starts to thicken up so i'm going to stir it a little bit for my case i would have to stick blend it because i left the water overnight so this is extremely cold and so um, i would have to stick blend it to get it into the thickness that i need so i'm done with i've added my face b to my face a now i'm coming to face c so for c i'm using the same container that i used for the zentam gum because there were remnants of the gum that i still want to incorporate so for face c i am using a surfactant i'm using uh betaine cocoa something i've forgotten i'll leave the full name up there i don't want to so solubilizers simply just help you dissolve poorly soluble substances in a solvent so an example is you know uh your polysorbate 20 80 those are examples of your popular solubilizers but this also the surfactant has a little bit of a solubility effect so i'm using it for that purpose as you can see now that i've added the sesame seed oil you see it has become cloudy it's mixed together nicely you don't see the oil floating on top and that's exactly what this surfactant will do uh, in smaller quantities not in larger quantities so again i'm adding my fragrance oil for that same effect i'll mix it in because the fragrance oil is an oil and then it mix it nicely and then everything is dissolved in the surfactant and then lastly i'll add my preservative i'm using phenoxethanol and this is a broad spectrum preservative it preserves substances between three to 10 a ph of 3 to 10 and you need something like that a broad spectrum spectrum preservative to preserve your black soap because my black soap when i tested the ph was 8.5 and that means that this is a highly uh alkaline solution or alkaline or a basic solution and so i need to be able to get a ph that can work in higher um uh, preservative will can work in higher ph so the next thing is that i realized that the i needed to agitate this mixture to get it to the thickness that i i want it to be the unfortunate thing about using a hand mixer a mixture in your um, black soap is that it changes the color so it's just like when you are forming an emulsion using your emulsifying wax with your water and the color changes that's what happens here and so that dark brown color of your your black soap you lose it at a point fortunately for you as your black soap sits over time you get your color back another thing about using a hand mixer is the foam that you get on top it takes quite a while so i left this for 24 hours i left this overnight and then in the morning i came back to have a look at it and most of the foam had settled and the uh, soap too had thickened up nicely in a way that i liked it and so that's how i wanted it so as you can see there's still foam on top but the black soap has also thickened up beautifully and so that is it so again we use a gum to get the thickness that we need so that's another thing that you need to know so you can you can as you work around with your recipe you determine if the amounts or the percentage of the gum that you use if you need it to a bit to be a bit thicker than this you will need to use your gum if you need it to be a bit lighter than this then you need to add in more water and our advice you don't add water you just what i would advise you dissolve a little bit of your black soap in water and then use that one as well to dissolve it so that you don't get a, a mixture that is just water a lot of water concentrated in it and then you don't get the latter that you need another thing that i'd like to mention also is that at this point people like to do a ph adjustment so you know that your skin 
and the scalp of your head the ph is a bit lower than your soap and so if your skin ph is around 4.5 all the way to let's say 6 and you have a substance with a ph of 8 that means that it might be irritating to your skin so you'd want to adjust the ph um so that's left on to you the formulator i tend to find it unnecessary for a wash of products i say that because i'm going to use this to wash my hair and there are other products that eventually will get my hair into the shape that i need it to be i.e my conditioners and my leave-in conditioners and my other styling products those are those ones those ones are usually the one that i i really need to work around to get sph to be compatible with my skin ph because they will stay in my hair they will stay uh, on my skin but for this wash of products i'm going to wash it off anyway so the next added items are usually what i like to but that's a personal opinion but as a formulator if you're formulating for the market the advice is that if you would want to adjust it generally soaps come with a higher ph that's how they are they are as they are salt they come with a higher ph and so i'll leave it at that so this is our black soap and it looks beautiful and i'm going to do a leather test again just to show you how it works and i really like this black soap the addition of the surfactant in there the mild surfactant gives it this amazing feel when you're applying it on your on your hair and also like a boost the ladder for you so black soap already ladders quite a lot and then this also comes in to give you that ladder and then it gives you that amazing boost that you need so ladies and gentlemen this is how you make your african black soap african black soap shampoo i always like to bring the african <laughs> so that so that we know where it is coming from so yes so this is your african black soap shampoo and let me show you how thick this is so again it's just so it's just like when you buy your store-bought shampoo it's very thick and it's nice and easy it's not runny it's not watery it is just like your shampoo if you want it to be thicker than this increase the percentage or the quantity of your gum or you know if you want it to be lighter than this you know increase the amount of water like i was saying the last time if you want it to be lighter use something like this your black soap mixed in water you can just use a little bit of black soap with a lot of water but just make sure there's some black soap in what you're using to you know to reduce the viscosity or the thickness of it so that you don't just get soap that is runny or soap that is that doesn't lather that's just a lot of water no soap and that's not really good so let's do a a ladder test with our newly made black soap and like i said you leave it for some time and then you get your color back you might not entirely get that black dark color but you get your color back and as you can see already it is giving us a beautiful nice foam um, very nice comes with a lot of ladder a lot of bubbles you know like your your typical black soap you just need a little a little bit of it goes a long way and i think i actually put too much because at the end of the day the water that i used to rinse my hands uh, the water was too small because when i when i was done washing i realized that my hands were still we still needed water a bit of water to get it to the point that it should have been at so if you are new to my channel i would say welcome um if you are a returning watcher returning subscriber thank you very much for coming back would appreciate it if you like this video especially if you like it and then if you can subscribe to our channel that's also really good it helps us to you know grow and also helps us to know the things that you like and the things that you would like to see a lot more of so let me know if you want to learn other natural ways to thicken your black soap please don't use salt to thicken your black soap that's not good for your hair so okay that was just by the way 
but uh, if you are new here welcome i would really appreciate all of you who come to watch these videos to subscribe they really help us and have a lovely easter so um this video will go up on good friday and i just wanted to wish all of you a happy easter and i pray that the risen lord or the death and the resurrection of jesus christ will bring you the victory that his death signifies in our lives especially for us christians if you're not a christian i wish you a happy holidays especially for those of us who use these days as a holidays i wish you god's peace all blessings and have a nice day